Hello, my name is Bill Daly. I'm Chief Scientist of NVIDIA Corporation and a Professor of Computer Science and Electrical Engineering at Stanford University. Today I'm going to tell you about OpVent, our open source proportional solenoid valve ventilator that you're looking at a uh, prototype of here. Um, our philosophy is to build the simplest possible ventilator that can be produced rapidly and inexpensively, but yet meets the needs of, of treating patients with COVID-19. Um, these patients may have um, acute uh, respiratory distress syndrome with very low compliance lungs. And therefore, it's necessary to very precisely um, meter both the flow and, and the pressure of air being delivered to the patient. Um, so that if um, the, the patient's lungs build up too much pressure due to their low compliance, the flow backs off to avoid um, harming the patient. Um, to do that and keep the ventilator very simple, we designed a ventilator with just two key components. A proportional solenoid valve, this unit here, um, that can very quickly with you know 10 millisecond um, response time, um, meter the flow very precisely, and a flow sensor so we can have feedback control giving very precise uh, measurements. A pressure sensor that actually is uh, remoted from this tube to the, uh, the patient circuit um, monitors the pressure at the patient to regulate pressure. Um, the, um, the unit with off-the-shelf components that you're seeing here has a bomb cost with components in single unit quantities of under $400 um, and we expect that um, in, in quantity this will be under $300. Um, our um, open source components where we make both the proportional solenoid valve and the flow meter uh, through inexpensive injection molded plastic parts, we expect to have a bomb cost um, under $100. Um, the input is compressed air um, here. Um, if compressed air is not available, this unit could be used with an air compressor to operate off of ambient air. Um, the output is precisely metered flow and pressure um, air. Um, and you could also, by the way, have on the input a blend of air and oxygen if you need to provide an FiO2 higher than 21%. The output is precisely metered um, flow and pressure of air to a patient circuit, which is off of a um, um, standard ambu bag, a readily available um, medical device, and a PEEP valve could be put here to provide PEEP. The unit operates with a simple um, two encoder interface. Um, the left encoder selects a parameter. So here it's on tidal volume. If I turn the encoder, I can change respiratory rate. And on each parameter, the right encoder changes the value of that parameter. So you see here the unit is running. It's very precisely um, metering air and, and oxygen. Uh, so rather meeting the pressure and flow of the air to the patient. Hi, my name is Paul Karpelis and I'm a hardware engineer. Here is a measurement showing the OP vent delivering constant flow followed by constant pressure. Here is the open source proportional solenoid valve on the left and Venturi flow meter with pressure relief valve on the right. 